In the US, continue to echo calls for multilateral response, particularly when it comes to China's behaviour and interaction with Russia. And all of that is creating headwinds going forward. But yes, the data today does suggest that China is on track for recovery after three years of zero COVID. OK, interesting. Thank you. Katie Silver there in Singapore for us. Across the world and in the UK, this is BBC News. Royal weddings and their dresses have long captured the public imagination. And whilst they may not have always been white, they have always been very elaborate. Like this one, the oldest surviving royal wedding dress, dating back to the marriage of Princess Charlotte in 1816. As per the royal tradition in the 19th century, it was silver. The dress is part of an exhibition here at the Queen's Gallery about fashion and the Georgians. But beyond the visual splendour of the period, what do the clothes of this era say about the people who wore them? Well, the Georgians were actually highly conscious of making sustainable clothes that could be altered and reused. You can see why dresses like this one worn at court might have eventually made way for more streamlined silhouettes. And it was in the Georgian era that breeches and stockings for men eventually died out to make way for the undeniably more practical trouser. You're live with BBC News. Here in the UK, there's been a surge in profits warnings from tech companies that have taken the number of such warnings to the highest level in a first quarter since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. Um, and there, there have been some more skeletons emerging from the Credit Suisse's cupboard since then. There's a big court case coming up in London um, about matters relating to something that happened before the financial crisis. And there's even been questions about, na about Nazi assets. So um, all of that adds up to really a very turbulent period for Credit Suisse both before the announcement of the merger and afterwards. So I'm expecting these results to be really quite bad. <laughs> OK, I mean, as okay. you say, there's a series of scandals, there's compliance problems, there's issues with their shareholders, etc. I mean, the list is long. But given the circumstances uh, that were faced to the central bank in Switzerland, to the authorities, to Credit Suisse and UBS, many argue that OK, it didn't go well. It wasn't uh, the, the best deal done. It was done in a hurry. I know we're going to talk to you again when these numbers do come out. So we'll talk to you a little later. You can go and get a nice strong coffee. Francis Coppola there, <laughs> independent banking analyst. We are waiting on the numbers from Credit Suisse. And when we do get them, we will update you and have analysis. But let's now squeeze in some other business stories. It shows that things are gradually improving, that the job market is stable and that this trend is likely to continue. It also backs up data that we saw last week from China, which was the growth rate. That showed a huge improvement on year. And of course, there are headwinds going forward for China's economy. Of course, it's grappling with a huge amount of debt. We've seen crackdown as a result of that on China. That is leading foreign investors to potentially be sceptical. We're seeing less foreign direct investment in China. And then the biggest question really is what's going to happen with the international community? We're hearing the US continue to echo calls for multilateral response. Yes, the data today does suggest that China is on track for recovery after three years of zero COVID. OK, interesting. Thank you. Katie Silver there in Singapore for us. Across the world and in the UK, this is BBC News. Royal weddings and their dresses have long captured the public imagination. And whilst they may not have always been white, they have always been very elaborate. Like this one, the oldest surviving royal wedding dress, dating back to the marriage of Princess Charlotte in 1816. As per the royal tradition in the 19th century, it was silver. The dress is part of an exhibition here at the Queen's Gallery about fashion and the Georgians. But beyond the visual splendour of the period, what do the clothes of this era say about the people who wore them? Well, the Georgians were actually highly conscious of making sustainable clothes that could be altered and reused. You can see why dresses like this one worn at court might have eventually made way for more streamlined silhouettes. And it was in the Georgian era that breeches and stockings for men eventually died out to make way for the undeniably more practical trouser. 
You're live with BBC News. Here in the UK, there's been a surge in profits warnings from tech companies that have taken the number of such warnings to the highest level in a first quarter since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. And Amazon doesn't want to sign an agreement, nor does Walmart. So that's the core of it. But, but Christy, we, we're going to you know, have to go on the train. Right. Sorry to wrap you up on such an important, such an important issue. Christy Hoffman there from Uni Global Union. agreement and Amazon doesn't want to sign an agreement with unions, okay. nor does Walmart. So that's the core of it. But, but Christy, we, we're going to have to go on the train. Right. Sorry to wrap you up on such an important, such an important issue. Christy Hoffman there from Uni Global Union. Hello there. The favourite music or podcast. You can even pause, rewind or restart live radio. Perfect. Listen on BBC Sounds. Here's the thing. I need two officers to infiltrate a gang. Welcome to BBC One this Monday morning as we start the day with breakfast. Ape the escalating violence. A review is underway to find out why some smartphones didn't receive the national alert message, which was sent out yesterday afternoon. Last night, it's a cold start under those clear skies. We've got wintry showers coming in across the north and the east, driven in in a strong wind. Rain in the south and the west, and in between, some sunshine. I'll have all the details later in the programme.